Hello everyone, Sam is here from creativetradingsystems.com uh, making this video about gold, gold update. I'm making almost every day gold chart and uh, gold video and updating and uh, giving the target, right? The setups and the target. So <clears throat> let's go on this one. I'm going to go back a little bit uh, because a lot of people asking, you know, different things. So just a few more charts, a few more months back, I, I will start, right? So this is the first chart I made on the last year, October 15, 2022, saying that this is wave three, this is wave four. And after that, wave five starts, right? And how it unfolds in five waves, one, two, three, and this was wave four in question that it might be finishing here. If wave four is finished here, then wave five of wave five will start to go higher than this. Uh, this is a chart. So this is wave three actually, and then it's A, B, C correction. Next chart will show you. So this is wave three ending here, then wave four, and now wave five should be a little bit higher than wave three. This chart is was made on December 2022. This is a monthly chart. Similarly, I start making the weekly charts as well from here, uh, starting this chart. See this wave three, A, B, C correction, wave four ends here, and then we're supposed to be going to the upside, and then we started to go to the upside. This is where the wave five sh should be. Obviously, we are going, and then we uh, these levels like 1802, then you have these levels, highs, you know, 2074, 2070, then you have, you know, 50, 1877, 1916, all of these big numbers, we have to bypass them one by one. Uh, going to the upside, and this is how we make Elliott waves, right? Up, down, up, down. So this is, uh, 1802 was uh, hit, and then we bypassed that, and then we went all the way to this 1916 and 1920, which is a monthly number. If you look at this monthly chart here, you will see that number is all the way here, 1920. Big, big number, and 1912 is right there. And 1916 is in between. This is the high of this is the high of 1916, All right? And this number is big number. It's 1959. So you will see how it uh, uh, played out yesterday and today. So now we are here in 1920, right? So I said, okay, we probably gonna drop first back to 1802 and then go to the upside, and that's exactly what happened. We dropped exactly at 1802 from there, and then it started to go up powerful. So I said, okay, we're going to be breaking that and then go to the upside, right? We were very close to 1998, and then next target was this yellow band, 2070. Look what happened. We hit that 2070 and drop, start to drop. So I said, okay, the drop is happening, and we will go back to 1877, right? And then go to the upside. So what happened to this chart? We came back to 1877, very close. Didn't touch it, but very close. So I said, okay, now we're going to be going to the upside. But first hurdle was 1959, take out 1959. So what happened? It went up there and then got stuck around there, 1959. And that's where I said, okay, maybe it's not going to go up, but it's going to drop back to 1802. Okay, that's how it was. So now look what happened. 1802, again, right? it came as low as 1810. 1807 is right there, 1802 is this number monthly, but 1810 gave it a bounce and it started to go to the upside. So this was my chart that we're going to go back to. 1959, this chart I made in October 23, 7th October. The first chart I start making from here, when? Uh, October 22, a year ago. All right, so we, a year ago, we started the journey from here going more than, you know, higher than this level. So we went up there. This is like wave A. This is wave B or 1 or 2, whatever. And then now from here, we're supposed to be going, taking off this 1959, break that, go to 2000, right? What happened to this chart is this. So we went up there and we hit 1959, drop a little bit, and then again today, I had the target 1959, so we hit that yesterday. Then we drop a little bit, and today, after that uh, Powell guy is speaking, we start to go up. We broke 1959, and we are where we are now. We are uh, here. See, right now the price is uh, 1980, right? 
And then the next target now is 1987. So this is how it is moving right now. See that? Beautiful. Going to the upside right now is 180, 30, uh, whatever, 180. So 187 is the next target. And look how my system is giving how many entries just now. I uh, I was out. I didn't take the entry, but my son is in here from somewhere here. He made it long and he's just watching the trade. So this one, this one, you know, all of these are entries uh, in the system. And my 40-minute chart is like this. So 1987 is right just above the R1 right here, I guess. Yes, 1987. Now break that, we have 1998 coming in, okay? So uh, maybe we're not going to break it right now, but maybe it will drop a little bit. You know, this is the, the TL going on, right? So we might just drop a little bit first and then go. You know, the dropping number would be, I think it's 1965. So anything can happen. This is the slow time right now, right? So um, let's, let's see what happens. So this is what it is. Now, the question is, with all this uh, mumbo jumbo, what is the, the benefit? What, what am I getting out of it, right? So this one, I made this chart. Now, it's only this week. All of these mumbo jumbo, I, I had my trades, right? So I'm not going to show that because the video is going to be too long. But since Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Thursday today, what happened? Or how many trades I took from this chart, these charts, these analysis in gold using my system is this. The first one was on 18th. You can see here, I had this one as well, bouncing from uh, 1920. So I was, uh, I had a from a small time frame from here to here, but I forgot to, you know, uh, save the chart. So I don't have that one to show, but yeah, I had this one. Then I had this one here. You can see the beautiful entry buy order is right there. I shall move to break even plus uh, and buy the book uh, entry. And then all, you know, from 1937 to 1962. Now today, the first shot was this. I had this entry. It went up, then knocked me out at break even. Second entry, I got this, and then I was hoping to hold and all the way. But the thing is that when we were here, Powell started talking. It was like 15 minutes before he started talking at 12 p.m. So I said, you know what? I don't want to take a chance. I'm going to close it. So I closed this one uh, from here to here. 1959, but like I said, my target was much higher, 1965. I, uh, you know, in yesterday's video, I mentioned that. So, uh, but I says, you know, it's going to dip and then I'll take it again. And it did dip, right? So it made the dip and and I went somewhere else, right? So my son took it, but I, I went somewhere else. And then what happened? It came down here and then it started to go to the upside again, right? I said, okay, no problem. And then what happened? It came down again one more time. And this is where my EA, my expert advisor bought. That was the one that took it finally. Okay. So uh, I got this one first. I cash out. Got in again here with my, the help of my EA, uh, uh, expert advisor robot. And then look what happened. From 1955 to 1974, I closed this one. So I had three trades, this one from 1937 to 62. Then this one is small one, 1951 to 1958, actually 1959 hit, closed the trade. Then again, after, you know, Powell was gone, everything, and then it started to move again here from 1955 to 1974. So this is how it is. Now it's going to dip. You know, this is what the, what's happening right now. I uh, just showed you, right, see, this is what's happening. So probably going to dip a little bit, right, ABC correction. And then, you see that? It was here just now, and then all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. So, yeah, so I'm holding on. I'm not taking any trades right now. Uh, probably it's going to drop here. And then maybe learning in London session, I'll see if I can get in again and then take it to the upside in 87 and then 98 and then 2000. Okay, so this is how. Uh, I managing this uh, gold because the forest market is completely screwed up and nothing is moving, and uh, and whatever is moving is just ranging up and down and up and down. Right, so it's, it's dangerous. The only trade I have in forest is Eurocad three eighty five. That's it. <clears throat> so far in this week, but mostly I have indices and gold. So this is how it is. The market changes all the time, and when the with the market changes, you should have a system that you can use and then 
adapt the changes immediately and then you know take your bread and butter out of the market uh so that's what i'm doing i'm after gold right now and maybe first market will sell down in a few days or maybe next week then we will uh deal with that right so us dollar index also uh is in um problem and then see this what's happening here uh it went up this was my target 1753 and 1784 so it hit that and then since then i said it's gonna drop but it's not dropping, right? So it's just there. Right? Fundies are coming strong. It's coming down, going up, and coming down, and going up. It's drunk right now, right here. So that is also creating a lot of problem, right? Pairs are drunk as well. You know, they're going up and down, up and down, ranging. So a dangerous time right now. So be careful and use a, a proper system, a proper methodology, proper uh, money management techniques, and uh, I take it from there, right? So like I said, go is gold right now, all right? It's the best thing moving, and you can trade, you know, uh, very easily using this system, all right? So just wanted to share with you guys. Next target, like I said, that 1987, then 1998, and then 2000, all right? And even higher than that. So let's see what happens. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the trading day, which is one more day tomorrow, Friday. But by the way, Friday, be careful. Friday is always, you know, very, very, very shaky. And uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, my YouTube channel so that you can get my videos as soon as I, I upload them. And then you can take advantage of these setups. All right. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.